Hi, this is Pastor Steve again. Welcome back to The Pause. This is Wednesday of Holy Week, and I hope you had a chance earlier today to hear Miss Caroline teach you how to make unleavened bread for our service tomorrow night, and I hope you had a chance earlier today to listen to Elizabeth Lyko, our Director of Discipleship, talk to you about how we can still make this way meaningful. Well, I know we've been hearing a lot of news this week, and some of the people in charge, the the government, the president, some of the medical doctors say this could be a tough week. But as I read earlier today, this was a very tough week for Jesus. He had to do battle with the forces of Satan and death and evil. And at the end of this week, he conquered all of it. And he ends up victorious. And he gives us a hope that does not fail. And it's that hope that carries us through difficult times, through challenging times. And what I want to remind you is this. When Pastor Brad invited you to spend some time in the Gospel of John, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Well, yesterday I talked about chapter 14, as Jesus promises to send his Holy Spirit, the Paracletos, the one that along, walks alongside to help us and encourage us. Jesus wants to invite us also to spend time with him personally. And in John 15, he talks about the power of what it means to abide or remain in him. So many things we can get focused on as we're going through this time when we're waiting. We can be watching all kinds of news reports. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good thing to stay updated. But wow, you can just get overwhelmed with it. Nothing wrong with watching your favorite shows or catching up with some of that. But that doesn't help us abide. What Jesus invites us to do is this. He says, abide in me and I will abide in you. This is verse 4. Of chapter 15. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. This is a chance just to abide. You notice I do a lot of these videos on our back porch. We built this a number of years ago when we were trying to decide if we would move or downsize. And we thought, you know, God's put on us our heart to just abide here in Houston with our friends and our family. And this is a place for us to abide in the middle of his creation. But in the middle of this, I want to invite you again to abide, to spend time with Jesus tonight. If you haven't had a chance to read John 13 or 14, spend some time listening to the words of Jesus, listening to his heart, because John in his gospel probably speaks more from the heart of Jesus. I mean, you hear all about Jesus' heart in every gospel, but John gives us a special insight into Jesus' heart. And this is one, Jesus says, I want you to abide in me. Yes, you're getting all kinds of information coming from lots of different places but abide in me because I am the vine. I'm the place where you're gonna get hope and courage and love and where the Holy Spirit is gonna fill you with the fruit that I spoke of before, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. And he said, you can't bear fruit unless you abide in me. So tonight I wanna to give you a chance to open up the word and just listen to what Jesus says in John chapter 15. There is so much in this text. Then I want to invite you to abide with us <clears throat> tomorrow as we worship on Maundy Thursday. And then we follow Jesus to the cross on Good Friday. And as we celebrate his resurrection. It was a very tough week for Jesus. But he won for us an eternal and everlasting victory. And as we abide in him, we rest in hope that he is in control and he is victorious. I love you, praying for you, God be with you.